Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. Today's newbie Tuesday, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Nature Valley created by Aiden Mike. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, this was sent in by one of our Discord new builders, and he says, this park has three roller coasters, four flat rides, and many shops and services. There is a lot of greenery and also a small backstage storage area. It has a very realistic vibe to it and something you might find at your everyday amusement park. First park I've ever uploaded, so please leave any positive or negative feedback. Also, there is no DLC stuff, so everyone should be able to see everything. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> I like how he embraces the negative feedback. I tend to call that constructive feedback. <laughs> Let's try and stray away from the negative feedback today, guys. If you do have any thoughts and comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, guys. And uh, looking at the Steam Workshop page, does he say anything additional here? Uh, pretty much the same thing. It looks like it was copy-pasted. Yes, it was. So only um, 52 visitors on this one so far, guys. Uh, no ratings. So please, if you own the game, come over to the Steam page. Link will be down in the description below. And come rate it, favorite it, and subscribe to it. So quick introduction for this one today, guys. Let's dive right on into it. Alrighty, Nature Valley, here we go. Uh, Garden Works looks beautiful right off the bat, and I love the park entrance here. Really nice, and look at that shot coming on in. Just from doing the setup shots here for the beginning of the video, I noticed a lot of really beautiful details. As you can see, even with this bathroom, custom little canopy up top, all made out of boards. Nice garden work around it, custom fencing, and lots of little planters. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful right out of the get-go. Pretty exciting stuff. Lots of variety in the trees and the garden work again. Pathing looks great. Even uh, decorated the exits to the ride and the queues. Really nice work here. Beautiful queues. All right, more bathrooms and shops. I like the simplicity of it. It's not over the top, but it's very gorgeous. All right. Some fun looking coasters to ride today. Uh, what's over here? How do we get to this building? Oh, it's the queue. Look at that boarding station. That is immaculate. Really nice job on this. Another one over here. Beautiful views. Oh, it's down here. Is this the exit to the... Okay, it is. Nice little creek running through here. I like that. Simple, compact, quaint, but very beautiful and detailed all the way through. Very thorough job of this. It's a good sized park. I like it. I feel like we covered it already. That was pretty quick. This is the main walking area here. Kind of do a loop. And then all the queues and stuff decorated around. And the coasters outreach a little bit further. So we'll get to see a little bit more details and the forest area as we ride the coasters themselves. Uh, let's take a peek at it nighttime. And then we'll go and uh, ride the rides. Really nice lighting. Awesome. Alright, so I think he said, how many coasters do we have? 
three coasters to ride today. So, uh, just start with the closest one here. And uh, we'll do multiple perspectives for these, as we do with the, the coaster spotlight, since it is a little bit of a smaller park, and we have the time for it today. So, uh, we got inverted four-seat arrival, uh, 6.38 excitement, 3.9 fear, 1.1 nausea. There's the rest of the results if you'd like to see them. And uh, let's dive on into it. <laughs> Alright, next up we have the Hybrid Steel Topped Iron Fury 5.79 Excitement, 3.52 Fear, and a 0.69 Nausea.
right, next up we have the Looping American Arrow Traditional Corkscrew Coaster, 4.97 Excitement, 3.24 Fear, and a 0.72 Nausea. There it is, everybody. Really good job, Quantum AM. Uh, the, the coasters themselves, I thought you did a really good design on them. Uh, they were very smooth in terms of track. Uh, they used the momentum quite well. The corkscrew, however, felt a little bit bland to me. Could have used a little bit more speed. It's going pretty slow. Uh, I get that it's just doing the standard inversions and a, and a corkscrew. I just felt it could have used a little bit more to it, um, as well as a little bit of smoothing out the bumps here and there, just a touch. Um, but the other two coasters I really enjoyed. I thought they were really nicely designed. And the park itself has uh, beautiful garden work, great use of the trees and the variety of the trees, as well as all the fencing detail, planters, and all that stuff. The buildings had a unique design to them. And uh, yeah, the boarding stations were great. Overall, a beautiful park. And I think this uh, shows your your skills while your workshop shows that you only have two uploads, this being one of them. Um, usually the requirements to go up to builder just require you to show that like most new builders just have one thing or nothing on their workshop. And you show a lot of skill with this park here. And I definitely think uh, you deserve to be up in the builder ranks rather than the new builders. So we're going to move you up to uh, builder today. So really good job on this one, Quantum AM. And uh, there you go, everyone. That's going to do it for this episode of Park Spotlight. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. And if you guys would like to support the show and keep it going, you could do so by becoming a patron. All right, everybody, hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.